How's it going, Damon Comic Book Investments? So today we're gonna to look at five keys that have been heating up. And what do I mean by heating up? I mean the uptick. I've talked about the uptick before. I'm talking about comics that, yeah, you know, they might not be as high as their peaks during the comic boom of, you know, May, June, April, that time. But they've dropped, but now they're slowly coming back. Some of them come back to their previous highs, others are just slowly trucking along, and we'll get there sooner or later possibly. So let's look at those five keys. All right, first up is we got the Savage She-Hulk number one. Now, a 9.4 back in December averaged 370. Now that is up 2% to 379, so not too much there. A 9.6 is up 13% from 449 to 509, and a 9.8 went from $1,096 on average in December to now currently selling for $1,312. It is up 20%. And if you look up here at the graph, you can see what I'm talking about. Got a huge spike up from the comp boom, went down. But now at the very end, you can kind of see that uptick. It's slowly coming back. That is due because there's a She-Hulk TV show coming out on Disney+. Plus. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when, but I know it's soon. And so definitely a lot of hype around that. Hopefully it's good. Don't know. We'll see. But that's pretty much why this book has been climbing up, back up. And it's it's it was interesting because I saw this book quite often. So it was interesting to see it like drop and then now just like constantly selling for more and more and more. My guess is it will still continue to climb from these current numbers and climb all the way probably until the TV show. Then after that, I don't know it's how good is the show. I don't even know if we have a trailer yet, to be honest. Maybe like a teaser trailer, but not like a full trailer. Okay, moving on. We got Nova number one. A 9.4 is up 20% from 291 in December to now currently something from 350. A 9.6 up 10% from 483 to 531 now. And a 9.8 used to sell for 1650 back in December, now currently sits on average currently. 1803 up 9%. And if you look up there, you can see that it kind of got a little jump up and it kind of went down, but now it's just slowly coming back. It's more like even across the board. I think there's been so much spec news of Nova um, being in the MCU. I mean, we had the Nova core and that was in Guardians 1. I can't remember if they're in anything else, but that's not really, it's not Nova. I mean, that's the Nova core but not Nova. Um, so there's a lot of spec that he's going to show up, and I think it's true. I think eventually he's going to show up, so I think this is a good book to get. Regardless, it's a Bronze Age key. I mean, I would have no worries suggesting someone to pick up a copy and just holding it back. One day he's going to show up. It might be sooner than later. Who knows? But I still think it's a good book to get. All right, moving on. We got Swamp Thing number one. Uh, 80 is up 23% from 239 to 295. A 90 is up only 1% from 419 to 425. And a 96 back in December averaged $1,200. Now that average is 1362. That is up 14%. And you look up here, and it's kind of like all over the place. This is the 96. DCs don't tend to have as many sales on average as, say, a Marvel. So there's a lot more peaks and valleys going on up at that graph there. But this is Swamp Thing. It's not his first appearance. His first appearance was in House of Secrets 92. Cool cover. It's uh, a gray toned cover is what they call it. But he is actually kind of a ripoff, and so is Man Thing, more so a Man Thing, of an old Golden Age character called The Heap. Little, kind of a little rip off there, but everyone rips off everything, you know, Swamp Thing, Man Thing, you know, then you got Deadpool, Deathstroke. <laughs> I mean, very, they're always ripping off each other. You got X Men um, and then Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol came out first. This guy's name is The Professor, and he's in a wheelchair, and he has a bunch of, I don't want to say freaks, but just different people. And then, uh, then Professor Charles Xavier's in a wheelchair and has his mutants. So, interesting thing there. All right, moving on. We got Amazing Spider-Man number four. This is the first appearance of the Sandman. 
And down there it says a 9-4, but that is clearly not a 9-4. I think that is supposed to be a 4-0. Uh, in December, selling for 15-26. Now currently sells for 19-13, up 25%. A 4-5 is up 10% from 1640 to 1800. And then a 5-5 went from 31-15 to slightly under $5,000, up for a 60% jump. If you look at the graph up there, you can see that it went up really high, came back down, boom. But if you notice, that wasn't a spike during the comic boom. That was because Sandman was in the newest Spider-Man movie. And that's pretty much why there's a big spike up and it's dropped down. But I think even though he was in it and you got that initial hype from that i think it was still as you can see the rest is still going up now it's really hard to tell because spider-man came out in december and these numbers are like january february as in current because it doesn't sell often it's not like a spider-man 300 where there's literally one or five a day that sell so these numbers are very like skewed just because there's so little sales of this but overall it's still going up i still think an old silver age key like spider-man Four is a good book, especially it's you know first Sandman. Will he show up in other things? Eh, I don't know. Like we haven't seen him in a while, and then he kind of popped up. So yeah, regardless, I think it's a good book. All right, last book on the list, and this is actually a massive spec book that I had that's on this list, but it's also made my dropping list. So, but it's back up. This is I think we've turn the corner on this book but before i do if you haven't subscribed already think about subscribing that would help out the channel feel free to hit a little like down there and let's look at the last book this was my spec book of i don't even know how long we're we doing this 2021 I, i'm always getting my years mixed up all right we got super mario brothers number one a nine four in december sold for on average about 475 now currently sits at 685, that's up 44%. A 9.6 now selling for 555, that currently sells for 810, up 46%. And then a 9.8 went from $960 in December to now selling on average 2775. And there's two sales this month, and that's up 137%. If you look at the graph here, it almost is up to its peak during the comic boom. If you can see the graph, the dark purple is the average, the light purple is um, just the peaks and valleys. And you can see that one peaked way, way up there for slightly under 3,200. I think it went for like 3,150 or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but we're almost back to those levels up there. Now I've I've showed you how many copies I had. I have a ton to this. I was massively specking on I told people a long, long time ago to be buying this book. Buy, buy, buy. Obviously, the comp boom happened. Shot it straight up. I still said, no, hold your copies. Don't let go. And then it dropped down like most of the comics did. But it's coming back. I think because I noticed because I've been putting up, I have a ton of copies and I can't just all of a sudden sell all in one day. So I've been slowly just here and there putting a copy out, you know, here and there, not too often. And I noticed that pretty much all my copies are gone now. And that's why I was like, huh, I should check on Super Mario Brothers. Like, how's it doing? And so that's when I noticed, I'm like, oh, wow, everything's way up. So I think if you would have bought when I said to buy, you're good. Um, if you want, if you feel like you need to let them go, I don't think now is a bad time. I still think there's more room to grow in this so feel free to hold them and if you want to buy one now i still think there's room to go obviously not as high as it was before but if you can find yourself a good deal i still think you'll make out pretty good probably another three what month are we in march it's probably another three to six months because it's supposed to the movie's supposed to come out december of this coming year so three to six months that's basically where you're going to want to target um but who knows? I mean, it could drop. It could keep going up. But that's my guess, my gut feeling. All right, that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys have a great weekend.